Hey guys, a little less polished today and something completely different. My lovely wife, Mrs. Great Dog, has said many times, you should do a vlog. Do a vlog, Jay. Vlogging is cool. People watch vlogs. And I don't know that that really crosses over into my world so much. Um, some people might be bored to tears, but, you know, maybe this gets three views. Maybe it gets 300. Who cares? I uh, just got home from work. We got a new group of recruits and uh, it's a big group but uh, thus far they don't seem to be too awful bad actually um, this morning when I woke up before I went to work I did my usual look through the freaking optic of my gun and uh, it was no dot that was the aim point acro p2 and that's about five months worth of battery life on it's the original battery that came with um, so I'm going to change that at some point and I'll probably take you along with me but Gus Tool come here Come here. Come here, guys. Oh, That's Gus. There's Tulip with the toy. Tulip always wants to hold the toy when you're petting her. Gus doesn't care as much. Tulip, come here. There we go. All right. Yeah, the two knuckleheads. If you ever hear them in the background barking or running around, that's them. <sighs> I wanted to put Duracell batteries in those freaking optics, and I had to go to Home Depot to find them. I thought I'd get them at the grocery store, and all they had was Energizer. Energizer probably would have been okay, but uh, whatever. In completely different news, I did get a small workout in today. It wasn't bad. And uh, I am back to before the holidays weight, which is good. Um, I've been fighting, as a lot of you guys know, trying to keep my weight and my health at a certain level. And I'm not trying to lose a ton of weight right now. I'm gonna shut this so the dogs don't come down here. Um, trying to lose a little bit of weight sorry not trying to lose a little bit of weight trying to gain muscle and when you are my age which is uh, 53 by the way for those of you who are counting unless you resort to some unnatural chemicals it is pretty hard to gain weight like uh, if you see any of the stars action stars freaking say oh I put on 30 pounds of muscle in eight months I am very suspicious as to how they did that. I don't think it was whey protein and lifting a lot of weights, although I'm sure they did some of that too. I doubt, 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 doubt that it was 100% protein. Let me uh, skew this a little bit. I'm going to change perspective and I'm going to show you slightly different angle of me filming. I don't know if that'll be of interest to you or not, but I'll uh, take you along for the ride because I'm actually going to film top down like I normally do. Oh yeah, so anyways, yeah. Uh, it took me three months to gain a half pound of muscle from uh, the two different DEXA scans I had. I don't even think I'm gonna bother with another DEXA scan until like frickin' um, maybe, that's crooked, is it? Maybe in June, just because it's so friggin' hard to get anywhere. Um, I think that maybe at, at that point, at the rate I'm going, I get like another pound of muscle, maybe. At least I hope. It's hard to say. Let's scoot that back a little bit. There. Sorry. First time I've ever done any of a logging. But uh, this is a different angle from when I'm doing top-down video. So right now, at least the last DEXA scan I had was like 18% body fat. And lest you think that I'm... Got some crazy advantage. Remember, guys, it took me like a year to get here. And that year was kind of a slog. I mean, it wasn't horrible. But probably five to six days of every seven, I was being pretty meticulous about what I was eating, except for holidays. Um, obviously, on holidays, I was doing different stuff. You know, I wasn't getting so crazy about it that I wouldn't enjoy, you know, some beverage or, you know, some junk food, some treats. But... Like for instance, today I woke up, had a protein smoothie and that had scoop and half protein powder, collagen powder. It also had, let's see, a scoop of berries, cherries, and kale and frozen stuff from Wyman's. It's pretty good stuff. Uh, about a tablespoon and a half of peanut butter, a cup of whole milk, fair life milk. And when all was said and done, that's probably about 580 calories. I had a another protein shake for a snack. That was another 150 calories. Uh, for lunch, some 
rice, some pork and cabbage, and a chili. Like it was a HelloFresh meal. I like those a lot, by the way. Um, not a lot of waste. And in terms of how much money it costs you to do them, really, it's probably cheaper than going grocery shopping. And it comes to your door. If you've never tried a prepared meal, I know that some of them out there require quite a bit of prep, like Blue Apron and stuff. But uh, the HelloFresh stuff, um, Mrs. Great Dog and I have liked quite a bit and not had any issues with. Like, we like those a lot. I can't say no issues, but for the most part, we've had really good success with uh, HelloFresh meals. Um, so much so that I haven't really been inclined to try any others. Come on out. So I'm just preparing the batteries for when I swap them out. I will probably do that on film. Uh, different camera. I'll use a the GoPro top down. Um, yeah, we've been doing HelloFresh for probably about, oh, I'm trying to think now, probably a few years now. Um, and even before I started to try and be really meticulous about diet, um, I haven't really been that way before. Like it was literally February of last year where I started to try and clean up my act. And it wasn't really until probably about March or April that I started doing workouts. And so I'm behind the curve. I wish I had been doing that all along, you know, if I have a regret. Because I spent probably a good 15 years getting pretty pudgy. And it wasn't so much the, the pure pudge that was a problem. It was just all of the other health problems that came along with it. You know, I let things go to a place that I probably shouldn't have. And, you know, now I'm going to have to probably pay for it for a long time. Yeah, it is what it is. But... Uh, if I could, if I could tell you anything, guys, like, you know, protect your health because once it's gone, it's friggin' hard to get back and you can definitely go too far down the road and you can lose it entirely. And I've had relatives who've done that. I've, you know, been in that boat myself. Um, if you haven't seen it, by the way, some other videos that I did, I did one on these watch bands. I'm still liking it. Uh, even after review, like I'm going to keep wearing them. I ordered another one actually from the same manufacturer in a slate just because I like different colors, but the orange was a little too surfer boy for me. I think Dan said, man, that's really surferish dude, like our skate kid. And not that there's anything wrong with surfers or skaters because uh, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, yours truly was a skater boy. Um, I think the sound on this is probably going to be just so-so, so I apologize for that too because I didn't get all crazy with the uh, sound set up for the phone. I am uh, going to do sound set up for the top-down video for my battery swap, which I'm sure YouTube will probably instantly demonetize. There we go. What's funny is that YouTube's demonetization seems to be very, um, let's see, I would say hit or miss is probably the best way to describe it. Because at one point I did a video, and it has yet to debut, you'll see it probably not this upcoming Tuesday, but the next. In that video, I did a uh, cleaning of one of my guns. Literally just cleaned it. Uh, didn't say, hey, go out and buy this full auto trigger that runs around and kills people and slaughters innocents and all that. I didn't, I didn't do that. Like, it was literally cleaning a gun. And according to YouTube's advertising advertiser-friendly guidelines, gun cleaning is safe for advertisement. And I uploaded that video, and they said, nope, we're, we're reducing your ads. So I appealed it, and they said, nope, we still are going to reduce your ads. So I took the same video, I cut nothing from it, but I added a little snippet at the front that's literally just a video of me going, this is the advertiser friendly guidelines, like showing a screenshot of it, going to the firearms portion, highlighting gun cleaning, about you know three or four seconds of that, just snipped it in, like added it to the video, re-uploaded the video, I got the same, you know, no, we're not gonna let you monetize this, but when I appealed it, they said it was good to go. So if you see any of my future videos where there's any gun maintenance or cleaning, i.e. don't go by this five million round magazine, but like something like, hey, here's here's this gun thing, and you might be interested, you're probably gonna see some snippets of the YouTube ad-friendly guidelines in the beginning, 
and that's uh, not for you. It's hopefully to remind YouTube of where they are in the world. Anyway, I'm going to quickly, quickly film this video, and then I'll get back to you, so stand by. All right, pure excitement. Um, just got done filming that. I think I might just release that one. Like, I don't even know that I'll put it up, like, for a specific release schedule like I do with a lot of other things. Um, you know, I've got enough content stacked up, like, just between me and you to last a good long while. So if the worst thing ever happened, hang on, let me turn off this camera. If the worst thing ever happened and I were to meet my demise tonight, which I sincerely hope and pray doesn't happen, by the way, but if I were to go, guys, you, if you were so inclined, you could listen to me on YouTube for probably a few more months before all of that stuff ran out. And that's if my poor, poor dear wife didn't uh, upload some more junk posthumously which she could certainly do. Uh, who knows? She is half owner of my uh, fine, fine business, such as it is. I probably can't carry you guys upstairs and this camera and those guns. So I'll probably just take you along with me while I carry the guns upstairs and then I'll just deal with that other stuff in a little bit. So this is like, for me, sorry, while I rearrange like a typical day after work at least when I come home and my wife is not in residence sometimes she is and you know we take care of other stuff but if I've just got random chores to take care of then you're you're kind of looking at what happens lefty loosey righty tidy that seems like tidy yes there we go mm -hmm. let's scooch a little closer there now we're nice and close. Isn't that good? Did I say I was going to carry the guns upstairs? Let's carry the guns upstairs. I'll come back for the rest of that stuff. Yeah, I, uh, just, just in case you were wondering, I did previously clear them. Like, they're empty, empty. There's no uh, no hijinks, nothing bad. Um, ah, I don't even know. Wednesdays are always weird for me. Like, everyone loves hump day. Like, they see hump day, hump day, but... You know, Wednesday is just another day for me where I end up doing work stuff and then home stuff, which is not bad. I don't say it is a grind. I do uh, miss my wife when she's busy and I don't get a chance to see her. Although it's cool hanging out with the dog sometimes too, which I might fire up the TV after I get done talking to you guys and uh, just uh, sit there with the doggies until Mrs. Gray Dog comes home. Probably the Garmin's gonna tell me I didn't go up enough stairs today. Always another problem when you got a multi-story house. Uh, I just realized you're kind of getting a little mini house tour without me talking about the house either. Eh, it's a Gray Dog World headquarters. Now we're heading into the closet. There's probably a joke in there somewhere too. So it's been a minute, but I did some videos a long time ago about the drawer and all my EDC stuff. I will probably do another EDC video one of these days. The uh, YouTube is rife with EDC videos. I don't know that the YouTube needs another EDC video. There. What are we doing tomorrow? We're going to take the Glock 45 into work, and that would be this magazine. And it would be this holster. Tomorrow we will not be taking the Glock 19 in. That's going to go back in my concealed carry holster so that gets rid of the light. Oh, come on. The Phoenix was a GL19R. Still like this light, guys, man. It is super bright. Small light. I mean, if you want something for a concealed carry gun, 
man, I don't hate it. I do not hate it. One of my favorites. And that's going to go back in the tentacore holster for any concealed carry work later. And then we'll worry about that another day. We don't have kids running around, by the way. So for those of you going, hey, you just left loaded guns laying around. Yeah, behind locked doors, guys. No kids. Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys here. This is probably 10 or 15 minutes worth of me yammering on about random, ridiculous stuff. I think I'm going to... Ooh. I'm going to go finish watching Triple Nine. It's uh, on Netflix. I don't know if you saw it. It looks okay. There are some pretty big names in it. I haven't loved it thus far. I'm only about halfway through it. It's okay. There's some decent action in it. So you might want to check that out if you're into such and you're Jones and for anything like that. If you're looking for anything to read, I can highly recommend the Terminalist series by Jack Carr. I burned through like six of them over vacation. Like it was unreal how good that series is um there's another one forthcoming this year like the seventh in the series not out and so now i'm stuck like waiting like when will the next one come out when will the next one come out i don't even know um mm, oh marco clue says a series he did front lines but there's another one that he did aftershocks i think don't don't quote me on that but google him uh like his sci-fi as well if you're into sci-fi uh, broadly, if you're into military science fiction and you're not reading any of the stuff by any of the Bayon authors, that's a book publishing company, guys get after that. Like uh, Larry Correa, highly recommend his stuff. A uh, brilliant writer. He not only does he do science fiction, urban fantasy, um, alternate history, and uh, a lot of different cool stuff. Like he's a, an excellent writer and he's only gotten better as he's perfected his craft. Well, enough of that, guys. I'm going to end this here. Uh, look for some more videos coming out next week. I think I've got one on tequila that you may be interested in. My favorite tequila of all time, bar none at any price. And it is much more affordable than some of those crazy high-end tequilas. And uh, that probably means that sometime this weekend, I'm going to enjoy some of that again. Guys, take care. Stay safe. I'll talk to you soon. Get them, Jay.